Hi, it's Rob again. And uh, what I'm doing uh, today is I'll just show you a little uh, little tool I made. <clears throat> uh, I was uh, frustrated that I didn't know how uh, how heavy the trigger pull of uh, various firearms that I own uh, were, and uh, so I decided I would uh, make. Um, a trigger pull gauge out of uh, things that I had lying around. So, um, <clears throat> uh, first of all I took uh, this um, handy digital scale which uh, came from one of these uh, hobby shops, rather like uh, Tandy is called Conrad here in uh, Switzerland. And so <clears throat> this thing, when you turn it on it has a digital display uh, zeros itself and there are various uh, measurement units. Currently it's set to ounces because I think this is uh, probably most useful for measuring uh, trigger pull. Um, however, uh, <coughs> it measures also uh, decimal kilos with uh, two significant digits after the decimal point and um, also pounds but also in decimal units, which I don't think is too useful. So um, let's go uh, to, let's use it in ounce mode. Turn it off to save the battery. <coughs> um, you can see uh, underneath it has this uh, little hook. Yeah, you can see it in better contrast. It has this little hook underneath. <coughs> and I thought, well, how can I adapt that to be, uh, to uh, reach a, a trigger? Of course, most firearms um, uh, are expecting a, a shoulder and a finger and a hand um, <clears throat> to reach into the, or a, ha a figure, finger to reach into the trigger. So um, we need to make something similar. So that's how I came up with this guy. This is uh, made from bits of uh, aluminium I had lying around. <coughs> here uh, some round aluminium tube, um, here uh, some square section uh, open at the back and um, finally a hole here to hang the uh, to hang it on the uh, scales. Um, so the idea is I use this vertically I hang the scales on here and pull with the firearm down and uh, that gives me then <clears throat> a feeling for how, how uh, tough the uh, trigger pull is. Um, having said that, um, I make sure that there is no uh, component of the weight of this, it's only about two ounces, um, in those figures by zeroing the scales, of course, when this is hanging. <clears throat> so I can uh, demo that for you. Um, I'm going to take my Browning high power <clears throat> which is unloaded. I'm going to cock it because it's a single action only, as you know. And um, <laughs> for the uh, safety conscious, it is uh, unloaded. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cock the hammer. There we go. I'm going to hang this. bar or trigger pulling device, here we go, on the uh, scales, the scales are here, uh, turn them on, it zeroes itself automatically, <coughs> then I'm taking the, uh, the pistol and placing the uh, crossbar of the pull device and there we've just seen exactly what irritates me about the scales is that it uh, when it feel, feels a constant weight it's freezing the result to say that's what the result is which is of course not true in our case let's try that again so <coughs> let's uh, get this more or less in picture uh, the pistol I'm having to pull down on. There we go. Keep going. 
It was about 85 when the trigger broke. <coughs> so that's five pounds, five ounces. Quite a heavy trigger, as you can see. Um, the annoying thing about this is it doesn't freeze on the highest value. So you have to kind of read it dynamically. But for a trigger pull gauge that basically cost me nothing, um, and uh, should be quite accurate, uh, as long as you can uh, catch the reading at the right moment, <coughs> I think it's not bad. So there we go. It's uh, here an aluminium tube, a long screw, a nut on the back, and a piece of rod. <coughs> this is inclined slightly because, of course, we want to have this perpendicular to the trigger and uh, the point at which uh, the uh, scale is pulling will be here. So there's a, a bit of displacement from the side to here. And uh, to be very honest, I didn't calculate this. I just did it intuitively. Um, if you want to, you can calculate it using the length and the middle of this as your... Uh, <coughs> Uh, so it's a uh, right angle triangle. This from here to here is the uh, um, second longest side. This is the hypotenuse and this is the uh, short side. So that's if you want to calculate it that's how to. Um, I didn't bother I just uh, winged it. <coughs> but um, there you go. A free for me anyway, a free trigger pull gauge um, with a, some uh, user issues, but uh, considering it was free, I'll put up with those until I buy one. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Hope you liked it. If you do, you know, the thumbs up sign. <coughs> if you aren't subscribed, please do, because I uh, really uh, feel very honored uh, for every subscription. Somebody wants to uh, watch my ramblings, my inventions and um, catch you next time. Thanks. Here's Rob. Bye.